Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Design is still fundamental, yet designers are really active in open source and product contribution. Still, any product, any open source need a hand of UI designer, right? In that case, uh, if UI design fall into your hands, let's talk about your options. Uh, you will not become a designer overnight, unfortunately, but uh, you can apply some techniques which uh, you can implement through engineering. My name is Gleb Stroganov. I am a product designer at Evil Passions, and I'm working with a lot of clients with a lot of projects, and I truly know how important it is to have designer in the team. Today, I will show you how you can implement the, de the design techniques and how you can benefit from them. Let's start. First of all, other Evil Martian contribution to open source. Here are the beautiful numbers, but I can tell you that it's contribution from the 13 engineers from other team. And here you may ask the question, Gleb, you are a designer. Why are you telling us about engineering <laughs> work, yes? And I have answer for you. Designers in at Evil Martians care about open source, and I will show you the slide which reflect that. Here, snapshot of other popular open source project. Maybe some of you know some of them. And uh, here, the snapshot which choosing that tool can help you benefit and start your project. So, recommend check other open source web, uh, section on the website and use that libraries. Okay, let's start with simple question, or maybe not simple. Please raise your hands. Who is creating or have created project without a designer? Oh, I know. You, you know the pain. I help you. <laughs> OK, fundamental part, very important. Skip the designs, but don't skip d designing. It's very important. And uh, first step, build your UI directly into the code for faster workflow. Typically, developers have a primary skill coding, yeah? And it makes sense to save time and spend all your precious time in your door station. I know you may think about what about additional tools which I can uh, use in my work. No, don't spend time designed directly in the code. And from other experience, uh, a lot of other clients bring to us MVP which they created directly in the code. Doing that, please focus on key user tasks. While you're dealing with some layouts, you may think, all clear, what's the problem? I have all pages all clear, all fine. You may have problem here. You spend too much time into your product and you may not think about um, frustration of the uh, newbies or users who start using your product. Product. In that case, I recommend you take a most popular diagramming tool, Napkin, and write down the steps which you consider can be frustrated for the user. And you may be surprised. You may find weak points which you definitely want to revisit and make more clear for, for the new user. Focus on key user tasks. And uh, doing that, like... Uh, almost every speaker told today, please maintain a user-centric mindset and use that simple formula. User problems need to be much more, have more, much more priority than struggling with UI. What does that mean? It means in that simple flow, then you think about feature, adding a button, try to think more. For example, why do I need a button here? And during that exploration, you may find the every component. You will uh, reach the user-centric point, and your question, final question, can be, does the user need a button here? And your answer can be, huh, I can use common palette here, or some another UI element. To visualize that idea, I want a Everyone who designing with a designer, imagine yourself, like your head, your thoughts, 
dribbling in the air. And from the one side you have features, dashboard, slider, pop-up notification, delete confirmation, yes, but also please add for that uh, dribbling waves question about user needs. For example, how can we make notification less disruptive and uh, more productive because we ev everyone understand notification disruptive or if you're working with dashboard think about how we can simplify dashboard for better usability it's very important also stay close to your users and uh, please doing that kind of activities uh, make close better test and find design partners very close power users of your product and show them as much as possible, as fast as, as possible new features of your product. Build strong connection with the community. And of course, do please uh, make a lot of user research. I understand it's too much because you don't have designer, but doing at least one part of that activity make you a lot of benefits. And to visualize why we need to be close to the users. Imagine your product like a big glowing sphere and much closer you are for the user, the more benefits, the more lights, the more insights you will have. Stay close to your users. And we reviewed that today, don't reinvent the wheel. I understand, I prepare a new layout. Maybe it's time to reinvent the wheel no, don't reinvent the wheel. And uh, try to utilize pre-existing components. It means if you have already prepared cut component, table component, or list component, reuse them. And uh, choosing high-level component libraries can help you. Here, the frame pohars which we recommended, but of course, for your case, it can be something different. The main metric here, it needs to be scalable, it, it uh, needs to help you build layout as fast as possible. Use high-level component libraries. And remember, yeah, we, code direct, uh, we make product directly in the code, we think about users, we uh, maintain user-centric mindset, and we have a library with a lot of elements. But how can we deal with that? In that case, study and draw inspiration. Here the QR code, QR code for the most popular library, Mobin, where you can study and draw inspiration. And most important part here, you can check the flows. You can ch check how onboarding created from different company, from different perspective. And doing that, study and draw insp inspiration, you can find the nice patterns which can be helpful for user in your product. They will be familiar. You will know how to deal with that. And you don't need designer for that to study and draw inspiration. Here, example of typical UI. I hope you see something, but let me help you. Any UI can be divided, in, divided into the elements, familiar elements. For example, here, example of the typical dev tool. And uh, you may have tabs, toolbar, navigation, properties. It means you can, with your integrated X-ray into your eyes, divide UI and find inspiration for each element and bring them to your product. And important step, cut the scope to find the product core. Remember, we had a st story today how product have a magic switch, then they focus to the core. Here again, find the core. And here the scheme. Your product can look like a variety of different rectangles. Rectangles represent the weight of functionality of feature. And here the nice exercise. Find the most important one and bring the process from the start to beginning and bring MVP. With doing that, you in high chances can find the core of your product, and I can remind you about canonical examples, Uber or Dropbox, who started with one feature, core feature. And to represent that, imagine you need to find from the draw materials one 
piece of material yeah, and polish that and make them glow. And uh, it's the way to find in the core. Please, find the core. And don't forget about user possibilities. You don't have designer, remember? User possibilities over user experience. It means, okay, I hope you see it. You and product, it's a deep forest with the brick line. You may think that I have already the line. I can use that, that and uh, it's okay. No, try to wander in around and see in that forest the light. The light represents user possibilities. You need to find additional way to bring value for the user and bring connection. And uh, you may think about bricks and type of brick in your road, in your user flow later with designer. And uh, nowadays we have new AI body, yeah? We can consult them, and uh, for example, after the long, hard night, we can ask help <laughs> and ask, for example, can you help me with onboarding flow? Or for example, can you help me with uh, research interview questions? And good uh, point, we can receive nice answers with, uh, because nowadays it's pretty common information and it can be good starting point for you, but here, important note, please, don't use that like one and only source of truth. You need to double check that. It's good body, but he has his motivation, let's say. Okay, we review the steps. Remember, you designing without a designer, and I understand you may not have a lot of time to implement all of that steps into your process, but I think you have time to pick one important step. And it's stay close to users, please. Bring that con connection, make your product glow. Stay close to users. And if you have more time, you can repeat steps or you can go really crazy. You can hire a designer. <laughs> and uh, we prepared a nice article you can scan QR code QR code where we revisit what hard skills and soft skills designer need to have because in the final days you need to find a nice partner who can help bring your product to the next level. And remember, I ask you, or maybe you ask me, Gleb, why designer talking with us about open source? Here are the contribution to open source. Here the snapshot of other products and uh, recommend for you choosing Martian Mono, it's free font which will look beautiful in highlighting code, uh, AppCatch library or Harmony, accessible UI color palette which mathematically picked one with the help of OKLCH color system or you can scan, sorry, another QR code and check the full library of designers open source libraries. Please follow Evil Passions, check out the website open source section and blog. If you love my story, you can follow me on Twitter. If you have some questions, please catch me and ask me about most st steps designing without designer. That's all. Thank you very much.